Hello, Year 6. Uh, welcome to your English lesson. Uh, let me just share my screen so we can get started with today's lesson. So today is Thursday, the 4th of March 2021, and our learning objective is to write persuasively. So we're going to be continuing to write independently from our box plans. Um, hopefully you would have finished your first and second paragraph. Today we're going to be doing the third paragraph. Feel free to finish off your second paragraph when we get on with the main task and then start with your third paragraph. That's, that's completely fine. Um, but I will be modelling the third paragraph for you. Um, before we get on to that, can you have a go at the starter? So we've got five questions here and uh, I am testing your knowledge on conjunctions. So which conjunctions will go in the blank spaces um, within these sentences? Now, I've made some of these spaces a lot bigger than the actual words. So uh, it's just there to test you a little bit. OK, so pause the screen, have a go at these five uh, starter questions and then I will reveal the answers. Great, so question one, he reads magazines, mm, he doesn't like reading books, so I've got but. He reads magazines but he doesn't like reading books. Question two, her baby cannot fall asleep unless she has her soft blanket. Um, question three says something they were older but they could sorry something they were older they could go to the party i wrote if so if they were older they could go to the party question four says they work so hard for the test i put however they failed okay and question five is something he is famous he is extremely I've got too many spaces there. Oh, you can see it already. Well done if you got although. Although he is famous, he is extremely humble. Okay, well done if you got those correct. And well done if other um, conjunctions worked better or worked just as well in those sentences. Now let's move on. So uh, have a recap of the model text if you feel like you you would need to. Uh, I'm not going to read through it with you as you were you've gone through this so many times now. Um, but if you do want a recap, pause the screen here and have a read through the model text. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be going through uh, the uh, third paragraph today. Um, so feel free to complete your second paragraph now if you haven't done so already. Um, and when you're ready to do your third paragraph, we can get on with it uh, shortly. So pause the screen here if you do need to do your second paragraph and finish it off. Um, if not, let's continue. So uh, things we need to make sure we have before we start our writing. We've got our word bank, uh, the word mat, We've got to make sure we have our box up plan. So here's my box up plan. Um, uh, I wrote this one up in blue and we'll go through that together. And we have to make sure we have our model text. We've got the model text. And there's one more thing that we need to have with us. Yes, our checklist. So today in paragraph three, we're talking about reasons to go and extra activities for all, okay? So I'm um, trying to make sure that the reader knows that there is variety at the park, okay? So there's some lovely year five, year six spelling words up here. We've got marvelous, definitely, guarantee, frequently, especially, opportunity, cue, recommend, desperate and disastrous, okay? So uh, feel free to um, have a look at the year five and year six spelling words when you were doing your uh, write-up. Um, for now, let me just whiz you through my um, box up plan. So I've written, whilst the adults play Quidditch and fly around in their broomsticks, there's plenty uh, to do for the young witches and wizards. Located deep in the heart of the Forbidden Forest is Aragog's spider nest. So Aragog is the is the huge spider uh, in Harry Potter. And I put a little note here, trampolines, and that's my reference point so that I know to write about the trampolines and how the uh, in the Forbidden Forest there's going to be spider web 
uh, trampolines for children to jump on. Um, overall, Harry Potter Land, remember HPL is my abbreviation for Harry Potter Land, uh, mine and Miss Thomason's. Uh, so overall, Harry Potter Land is the number one choice for the entire family. There is something for everyone here. We will not let you down. The, there is an abundance of opportunity, sorry, there is an abundance of options for you to choose from, including incredible potion place, uh, where you can make your own drinks, visit uh, Diagon Alley, so that's another place in um, Harry Potter, uh, to buy your own wand, um, and watch the incredible wizard duel at sunset, okay? So, plus the Harry Potter flying car will get your adrenaline pumping. If I were you, I would buy the all-day pass, half price until the end of March 2021, so, don't miss out, so you don't miss out. You're definitely, you definitely won't regret it. Once you become a wizard, you'll never want to leave. Bring your friends, bring your children, bring your whole family. Hurry, tickets are selling fast. You must book now. So there's quite a lot of features I have in there um, and I'm gonna point them out when I uh, start writing up my uh, paragraph three. So um, we're going to need a subheading for the start of this paragraph. Now, I'm not too sure what that's going to be just yet. So I'm gonna write subheading dot, 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 just for me to come back to, I have it underlined and capital S there. So uh, let me just begin writing. So if I look at my box up plan, my first point is whilst the adults play Quidditch and fly around on their broomsticks, there's plenty for the young witches and wizards. Whilst the adults fly around. I'm going to change it a little bit. Um, playing Quidditch. There is plenty to do for the young witches and the wizards. I'm going to do a dot dot dot. Okay. Um, so I've got my fronted adverbial while whilst the adults fly around um, and uh, then for my next uh, sentence I've got um, located deep in the heart of the forbidden forest is Aragog's spider nest and then remember I'm going to talk about trampolines so um, located deep in the heart of the forbidden Forest is Aragog's spider nest. Um, I'm going to do um, I'm going to do a dash to add extra information. Here, yeah, uh, the young children. Well, actually, not the young children. The young witches and wizards, and um, jump around on the webbed trampolines. Okay, now let's continue. I'll go back to my box up plan. Let me have a look. Overall, Harry Potter land, in fact, I don't think I, I think I want to add maybe um, here, the young witches and wizards can jump around on the, I want to add an exciting word here. So let me have a look at my word map and see what adjectives I can use to describe my trampolines. Uh, unbelievable, startling, unmissable, unique. Um, I think I will go for incredible. So on the incredible webbed trampolines. Okay, we go back to my box up plan. Overall, Harry Potter Land is the number one choice for the entire family. There is something for everyone here. Overall, Harry Potter Land, remember it's capitals for your, um, the name of your theme park, is the number one choice for the entire family. There is something for 
every one here. And because the theme of my park is about witches and wizards, I'm not just going to say there's something for everyone. There's something magical for everyone here. Okay. Right. Go back to my box up plan. We will not let you down. So let me have that. We will not let you down. We will not let you down. Uh, and I think I remember it says the, there's an abundance. I like this word, abundance, meaning lots of. Feel free to, to steal that one if you want to stretch your sentences. There is an abundance of options for you to choose from, including, so I've got my expanded list here using a colon. Okay, so there is an abundance of uh, options for you to choose from. Remember, colon to start my list and let's see what's on my list. We've got uh, incredible, I think I will have to change that because I used it earlier. So incredible potion place where you can make your own drinks. Visit, let me, let me just copy paste that and I can stretch it out. I might make it a bit quicker. Like, there we go. So remember I said I wanted to change incredible. So let me put that in a different color and come back to that. So we've got, uh, I'll say, the incredible potion place. So this is the name of the cafe, the um, place where I can, where my customers will make their drinks, where you can make your own drinks. Semicolon because this is an expanded list. Uh, visit Diagonally to buy your own one. I think I want to stretch that your very own one. Make it sound even more special so that it entices the reader a bit more and watch the oh, I've got incredible again what is wrong Miss J let me have a think about those okay and watch the incredible wizard jewel at sunset okay I think I'd like to have a look at my word mat and see what um what I've got here oh I like unbelievable because that's something that um you wouldn't necessarily see on a normal day. So a wizard jewel, I'm going to describe that as unbelievable. Um, and I wanted to change this incredible here. So the incredible potion place. The, hmm, let me look at the word mat again. Persuasive adjectives. The, oh, I like sensational. So I'm going to take that from my word mat and put it in here. Sensational. Okay, so let me read just what I've got so far. So there is an abundance of options for you to choose from. The sensational potion place where you can make your own drinks. Visit Diagonally to buy your very own one and watch the unbelievable wizard duel at sunset. Uh, I'm going to say every day, this happens every day. Sunset. Okay, that way my customers have a bit more information on uh, what, um, like the timings of certain things at my theme park. Okay, so let's continue. Um, look back at my box up plan. Okay, plus the Harry Potter flying car will get your adrenaline pumping. I like that, I'm gonna take that from here. Okay. So um, I've got my um, uh, subjunctive form here. If I were you, I would buy the all day pass. Um, so let me copy paste that one in. I like that, how it sounds. If I were you, I would get that all day pass. And then I've got my brackets, my parentheses for adding extra information. Um, which says that the pass is half price until the end of March, so you don't miss out. I think I, I don't like the parentheses there. I think I will, I will put um, 
the rest of my sentence here. So if I were you, I would buy the all day pass so you don't miss out. And then in my brackets, I'll say it's, it's half price until the end of March uh, 2021. So they know that it's uh, gonna end soon and they will want to come uh, as quickly as they can to my theme park. So back to my box up plan. You definitely won't regret it. Once you become a wizard, you will never want to leave. Lots of um, second person in there. You won't regret it. Remember that informal language. I can use uh, contracting um, apostrophes uh, to, to contract uh, certain words. So you won't regret it. Um, oh, I forgot what it was. <laughs> You uh, you definitely won't regret it. Ah, okay. So you definitely won't regret it. Once you become a wizard, you'll never want to leave. You definitely won't regret it. Once you become a wizard, you will never want to leave and finally it was bring your friends bring your children bring the whole family hurry tickets are selling fast you must book now so i've got my um if we look at our um checklist here we've got modal verbs and i've got my modal verb here uh you must book now, okay? And that makes the reader feel like it's uh, gonna end soon, the, the tickets that are gonna run out soon. Um, so let me make this all the same size. Um, and then I'm gonna read through this with you. Whilst the adults fly around playing Quidditch, there is plenty to do for the young witches and wizards. Located deep in the heart of the forbidden forest is Aragog's spider nest. Here, the young witches and wizards can jump around on the incredible webbed trampolines. Hmm, I don't think that makes so much sense. I'm gonna change that to incredibly because they are incredibly webbed um, um, spider, sorry, uh, trampolines. Overall, Harry Potter land is the number one choice for the entire family. There is something magical, I'm gonna say magical here for every, everyone. We will not let you down. There is an abundance of options for you to choose from. The sensational potion place where you can make your own drinks, visit Diagon Alley to, build, to buy your very own wand and watch the unbelievable wizard jewel every day at sunset. Plus the Harry Potter, fly, oh, the Harry Potter land flying car will get your adrenaline pumping. If I were you, I would buy the all day pass so you don't miss out. It's half price until the end of March, 2021. You definitely won't regret it. Once you become a wizard, you will never want to leave. Bring your friends, bring your children, bring the whole family. Hurry, tickets are selling fast. You must book now. So within that, I can see that I've, uh, going back to my checklist, I can see I've got modal verbs. I've got fronted adverbials expanded list and subjunctive form, um, all from my plan and put into a paragraph. So can you please have a go at uh, completing your third paragraph for today's lesson? Um, and once you are done, please submit this on Teams. Uh, if you um, start typing it on Teams, there will be a word mat already in the document there for you. So you'll have this there to help you to stretch your sentences even more. And um, remember to go back to your checklist and see, did you include modal verbs? Did you include fronted adverbials? How about expanded lists and the subjunctive form? Okay, so pause the screen, have a go at, um, uh, have a go at writing up your third paragraph. And also don't forget your year five and six spelling words. I will see you next time. Goodbye.